Hey, and welcome back to another studio vlog. This is studio vlog number two. Um, as you can see in this studio vlog, I am actually working with two cutting machines. Um, and I have two laptops as well. <laughs> I just could not figure out for the life of me how to get the cutting machines running on one laptop. I think now I might know how to do it, but it doesn't even matter. <laughs> it really doesn't. Um, what you did not see in this um, studio vlog this day was me actually getting really frustrated with the cutting machines, quite literally. I mean, I didn't like hit it or break it or anything like that, but I just got frustrated with trying to run both. Um, I was finding that it was just more time consuming than actually just having one cutting machine. And so I literally boxed up the new cutting machine and I returned it to Amazon the same day. I was like, I'm done, I can't, <laughs> I can't run both. And that just might be, you know, the overwhelmed mom talking, you know, as you can see in the video, I have both of the kids in there. Yeah, I'm trying to cut all these cards. It literally takes me about, I would say at least 20 to 30 minutes to do um, one of the Who God Says You Are card sets. So it does take me a lot of time to create the card sets, you guys. And um, so it was definitely one of those things where I got frustrated. Um, and as you can imagine, <laughs> it, it just, it became a thing. But anyways, as you can see my little one, little baby Kaden, I'm putting on my baby voice now, excuse me. <laughs> me playing with him a little bit. I just, I, I'm a mom, right? So all day, every day, even when I wanna work on stuff for my business, I am still a mom. So just playing with him a little bit in between um, trying to work on the cards. Um, and as you can see, I'm struggling to get my <laughs> cards in frame. I got my head all under the camera. Um, I was actually trying to do um, some videos of some new cards that I created. These are still not up in the shop. These are actually going to be a part of the Encouraged set. So um, I have the Encouraged Affirmation and the Prayer cards. Those will be up at some point along with the Encouraged Journal and Devotional. I want to make sure I offer the bundle so that you can you know, get the cards as well as the Journal and Devotional if you like. But this is me just taking videos, which are now gonna be obsolete because I <laughs> I changed the design of the card, so I won't even be able to use these videos. But this was actually just some footage of me um, trying to take videos and get photos um, for the shop. So that is one of the things that I'm definitely learning. Um, you know, when I'm thinking about creating new products that I have to also think about how much time does it take me to create this product? Do I have enough time to create this product so that I can, you know, get customers their orders um, out? And I, like I said in the first video, I do try to batch create items. So I try to have everything ready to go. I don't usually like create orders and then, um, I'm sorry, I don't usually like go and create the cards when the order comes in. I try to have it already packaged and ready to go. Now I can't do that with personalized cards, of course. So those are the ones where I have to go ahead and do it in the moment when the order comes in. But if it's just a general set, then I definitely, you know, my preference is to have those ready to go. Um, this the cutting of the cards is a time consuming process. I kind of had a struggle with the cutting machine. Uh, I not kind of, I did have a struggle with the cutting machine. For some reason, um, my settings just, the original settings that I used to cut the cards were no longer working. You know, like the blade was not going all the way through the paper. So I was having to clean up all the cards, um, like one, one by one, go through each one and clean it up with a pair of scissors, which as you can imagine, it was just time consuming and it was not fun. Um, especially because if you, if you don't know the, the who God says you are set, which is the most popular set that I have, that set is 46 cards. <laughs> so that set is a large set. And it, so it takes a lot of time, you know? Um, and I, I went back and forth for myself about changing the size of the set. 
um, you know, doing front and back printing. I couldn't figure out how to print front and back. I mean, I just, I struggle, you guys, with getting this set out. I, I really, um, I forced myself to do something I usually don't do, which was just to go with what I could figure out and not, you know, be super perfectionist. And so that's how I ended up with the cards being one sided. Um, I am changing that now that I have, um, move to like a new type of paper and a little bit of a different design. It's not really that different. It's just a different sides more than anything because I wanted to still keep it consistent with what people said they liked. Um, but now I actually am able to offer front and back printing, um, the paper quality. Oh my gosh, so much better. So I'm really excited about that. Not that anybody complained, but just the fact that I was able to find even thicker paper, like that was a big deal to me. Um, you know, that was just exciting for, for me. I don't know. It's just the business thing of like, you know, you want to offer the best quality possible. So anyways, <laughs> so these are, you know, my, the three by three cards, which I still have a few of I'm trying to get those sold so I can take that listing down um, and stop offering it don't judge me but I just I need to get those sold and, and be done with the three by three cards because this was way more time consuming than I planned for um, but anyways as you can see I'm struggling to rip rip the um, the ex excess paper off and that's because I was, again, having problems with my cutter. The blade just did not seem to go through the paper um, all the way, which is really odd since I had used the, um, I had used one of the cutters before and I did not have this problem. And I was using the same setting as I did prior. So yeah, it just, I guess the nature of a cutting machine, right? But anywho, so, um, I'm just assembling the cards, getting them, um, you know, all off the cutting mat and making sure everything looks good and clean. I do try my best to inspect every card. I actually, I mean, I feel like I do inspect every card, but I did get, you know, someone who was really nice. She was so sweet about it that she got a card that was all, I mean, it was, it looked a hot mess. I don't know how, but it like the cutting machine must've went crazy and I somehow missed it. And it was like, words were cut off and I was just mortified <laughs> quite literally. But, um, but yeah, I did get her order fixed, but yes, it is. It's really, really, um, time consuming as you can see, <laughs> cutting these cards. Um, I, I kind of have my portrait figured out but at the same time I don't because I can't get it to um, auto calibrate so every time I have to line up the registration mark um, exactly before I run the cutting machine which is time consuming as well because if you're not if it's not doing the auto setting then I can't just feed the paper through I have to actually sit there and make sure it's in the right spot so that it will actually cut if you are not into cutting machines, I'm sure this is boring to you and you can tell that it is a time consuming process. So we're gonna just stop talking about the cutting machines because I'm just feeling myself get hot. Anyways, so again, I'm just taking the time to go through each card, try to fix them. I really, this was such a long, 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 tedious process. It took me about two weeks, I would say. I think it took about two weeks to get Mm, I think I got 20 sets put together in two weeks. So that is a heck of a long process. It was definitely a labor of love for sure. Um, but it, it really, it stretched me and it pushed me and it honestly, I think it helped me become a better business person because it made me sit down and evaluate what I was doing and to try to figure out what changes I can make to my process so that I could be more efficient so that I could produce more um, and to try to see if there was an opportunity for me to produce something even better than what I was already producing and so I am thankful for you know just the learning opportunity of it all um, so yes um, so this is just me working away with the scissors and trying to get these cards cut.
My packing stickers are definitely one of my favorite things about my Etsy shop. I just love putting my stickers on each order and I think that they are so cute and such a nice little final touch. I did put a lot of effort into reaching, reaching, <laughs> researching and trying to find, um, you know, good options that would work for my products as far as packaging and um, like shipping everything out and making sure everything just looked nice and was a good presentation and experience for my customers. So I love these stickers and it does take a little bit of time, not very much, to get my stickers cut out and I just wanted to show you guys kind of that process in this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed um, you know this chat I would love 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 to hear from you guys in the comment section about what you like to see from me in the future especially if you have any ideas about different studio things that you want to see if you if there's certain things business wise that you want to talk about definitely let me know if there's Bible study topics that you want to talk about you can let me know about that as well I do have some Bible study videos coming up that I'm really excited to share with you all um, I can't wait to talk to you guys again soon I have a lot lot more to share um and as always you guys just be blessed stay safe and till next time bye